Oh, sorry guys. It's been a while since I've made a video or updated my XDA op. I don't know why this is so incredibly out of focus. Um, let me just try forcing that in. I'm recording this on a 2013 X7, which is also running Sailfish OS, and that is going to be the subject of this video, Sailfish OS 2.1.4.14 on the Nexus 10. And this is just kind of a video update for the current status of the port. So, um, let's see, yeah, let's get that on. As you can see the wallpaper, you just got to set a custom one that takes up the full screen. So this, I switched from the CyanogenMod 11 base to a Lineage OS 14.1 base, and uh, it's, eh, it's, you know, I wouldn't even say usable. Camera is of course broken, that's, we're probably never going to fix that. Um, when I do get this fully stable, I'm going to mess around with the Lineage OS 13 base just for camera support. I'm definitely not even going to bother trying to get camera working in Lineage OS 14.1, that's... Uh, from based on what I know they switched all the camera APIs and you'd have to backport the new one to this one and that's just a whole new beast altogether but let's see let me try to yeah there we go I like the camera options in Sailfish OS actually actually I think double tap to wake works yeah it does that's not good that means I'm pretty sure it's actually hurting the battery well, whatever you know beggars can't be users so yeah um Droid Media. I used to be able to play videos, and the new build I cannot. Um, I think that's due to a missing Lib Mini SF. I built that. I'm actually making a new build right now. It's going to... Uh, ringing in my left ear. That's weird. It's going to include a lot of packages by default. As you can see, Wi-Fi works. GPS is broken and Bluetooth are broken. Those are kind of on the back burner. I'd rather have working audio and video instead of working Bluetooth. But as you can see, Weather works. This is just some test songs to put on there. This is TV Girl over there and Home, of course, and Saba, because why not? But yeah, they cannot play. And actually, it's like it's so fucked that if I switch music, the the media player app will crash. Well, that's beside the point. Let me just show what happens when you try to play video. So these are just some photos too that I set for my custom ambience. So if I click on that, it'll actually. You can set the ambience, whatever you want. So let me click on video, click that one, press play, and it freezes. And when I go to D message or not that, when I go to log cat, it just says it's waiting for the media player. But yeah, I've got that quick gesture set up by default. Camera, if you open it, it'll just do that forever until it crashes, which I don't know, I'm coming to terms with camera not working. I never really used it that much on this tablet anyway. It'd be nice to have, but again, back burner. That's probably one of the last things I'm going to do. Like I said, completely stable and then camera. That's If I can get this completely stable, I'll move bases to Lineage OS 13. Anyway, I can add a Gmail account. Um, so yeah, I can check my email. You can skip the tutorial, add my location, keyboard works. Let's see if I can find a place that actually lets me test my keyboard. And if you look, I'm you can probably see in the reflection there's my TV you can, or my monitor. You can see me building the new build right now, actually. It's probably not going to fix anything. It might fix video. Probably not. But there, let me just do new location. Vibration is also broken. But again, that, that's like on the mega back burner. I never liked it on this tablet anyway. It's really, it was working in the CyanogenMod 11 base. But then again, nothing else was. Don't get your hopes up. But it was a really powerful vibration, like overly powerful. But yeah, as you can see, the keyboard works. And you can even set it to where it's... A sideways gesture because the rotation is messed up. Oh yeah, rotation is working fine. So if I turn it this way, it'll fuck you browser, messing up my video. So yeah, if I turn it that way, turn it that way. Auto rotate's working fine. I actually did fix that in this build, which that is the one currently up. But yeah, as you can see, so the, the bar there is just fine. But then here it is not. So if I see if I scroll up it acts like it's normal, but it's offset by 90 degrees. And then, you know, swiping away still works. And there's the sound or audio shortcut coming up. But yeah, terminal. It's funny actually. In finger term, the keys are <laughs> the keys are massive, which I actually kind of like. It makes it a lot easier for when I'm maybe debugging on the go, which I don't do a lot. I don't bring this anywhere because it's so unusable. But yeah, that's just the current state. You know, it's. I don't even bother setting these. I'm gonna, I wish I could remove those by default, but like, look at that, there's black bars on the side. And that's not even our fault, it's because this, <clears throat> it's because this device has such a high resolution display. 
Uh, that's just what happens. It's actually, as far as I know, it's the highest resolution device running Sailfish OS as of this video being taken. I don't know, maybe some breakthrough port will come out on a 2018 flagship device or 2017 flagship device right when I publish this. I don't know. But yeah, and then when I get all that, maybe uh, uh, some other guy will be naughty and get Alien Dalvik on there. Not me, because that would be wrong and like against some sort of copyright. Definitely not me, but probably someone else will do it with a different username, of course. Uh, unless they might try to copy my username. I don't know. Definitely a different account, though. But yes, this is the current status of the port. Just, you know, just in case anyone was interested. So yeah, and then I'll probably upload some other videos on my other devices.